Hello, good afternoon, everyone. I hope all of you can hear me well. Um, I'll just take a moment to share my screen. Yeah, I hope you can see my slide presentation. Okay, first of all, welcome. Thank you for joining me today. Um, before we get started, I would like to introduce myself. I'm Hakim Mohsin and I'm the CAT Beam Specialist for ACAT Systems, uh, Kuala Lumpur. Okay, for today's topic, we will be reviewing Revit keynotes. Okay, we will go into what, what are the functions or what are the types of keynotes that we have in Revit. Okay, so basically, a keynote is a tag. All right, it's a tag. And a keynote parameter basically exists at, in every element, be it a loadable family or a system family. And we also have a mat material keynote. In every material, there will be a keynote parameter, which we can input and tag it. And also we have another user keynote, which uh, it, shows the data from an external file, which is an txt file. But basically, there's three uh, types of keynote, which we'll look into later on. Okay, so first is element keynote. So most loadable and system families have a built-in keynote parameter. Okay, it's a type parameter. Okay, so what does it mean by it's a type parameter? If if you are, have a, a loadable family, let's say a chair, you need to click select the chair and click edit type. Okay, you click edit type, it will bring up the, the type properties and you will find this keynote parameter there. Okay, and the value which you can input, right? Next is a material keynote. And each material, if you look at the material browser and you go to, to the identity tab, okay, they will also have a keynote where you can input the information. Okay. And lastly, the user keynote. The user keynote is manually associated to an element, not data from the element itself. Okay. Uh, so it means that we manually associate with an external file. Okay, the the keynote data is not on the element or the material. Okay, we do it manually. Okay, it it allows standardizing to nodes uh, both within a Revit file and across multiple projects. Okay, keynotes live in external tab delimited tag. Okay, and load directly into Revit file, allow, allowing users to choose the keynote they wish to use from a dialog box. So it means uh, usually we will have a specification, we have list of keynotes, we have our furniture, our, our uh, finishing, our paint, all of them have their own codes, right? And you want to standardize it between uh, all of your projects, let's say. Okay, so, so your tagging can refer to that one text file, one specification text file that you created, and it links to Revit, and you can get the data by using this keynote, user keynote, sorry. Okay, let's jump into the into Revit, so we can see it more clearly. Okay, I hope all of you can see my screen. Here I have a sample of a building. It's a floor plan. This is a simple house. Okay, and then we go to the annotate tab and we'll find this keynote under the tagging panel. In, 
if I click the drop down, you can see there is the element keynote, material keynote, user keynote, and the keynote settings. Okay, so most probably when you start to create, uh, first time you're creating this keynote, most probably you won't have the keynote tag loaded into your project. So, um, so you need to look, load this into your project. Uh, it depends if you have it in your library, but in my case, I don't have this uh, keynote tag family, so I have to create it myself. So let's create a keynote tag first. So I'll go back to the home page and go to family, click new. And then we have to select a template. Go to annotations and look for metric generic tag. Okay, so you open up a tagging family file. Okay, this is just a node. You'll be at the reference level. Okay, this is just a note which you can delete. Says delete before using. And then firstly, you need to go at click at the family category and parameters up here. Click on it. And then set the category as keynote tag. Okay, so this is important. We have to set it as a keynote tag. We started with a generic tag, but then once it's open, we specify it as a keynote tag because we don't have a keynote tag template in our library by default. Okay, just click here and click OK. Then you click at Create tab. Okay, and then you go to Label. And just click anyway. Just click at the middle. And you will find there's basically three uh, parameters that are available for this keynote tag. So take the key value at the parameters here, bring it in, and click OK. Okay, then we have our key value. All right. So it's as simple as that, you can obviously uh, edit this annotation. You can click at the type if you want a different text or different uh, font, text size, and so on. You can do it here. But I'll leave as it is and I load it into the project. Okay, as I do that, it continues my keynote command just now. Okay, and I bring bring it and I try to tag this chat, for example. Okay, and as you can see, it shows a, a, a question mark. Okay, so basically, in, within this chat, the keynote parameters are not yet uh, determine right so what i can do is i just click here and then i go to click edit type select the pair and click edit type okay and then you just scroll down until you get the keynote parameter here and the keynote parameter so i can basically uh, type my specification depends on how you want to uh, specify your furniture so maybe I'll go like uh, capital F for furniture and then CHA for chair and this is one something like that 
Okay, then I go back to the keynote. And I take Clement keynote. Okay, and then I bring it to my chair here. And as you can see, right now it's able to read the keynote parameter. Okay. So this is element you know it the the data resides within the element okay let's see the next one material keynote so for material let's say i want to do for this uh, floor so let's review the floor i select the floor and i go to edit type it brings up this type properties i click edit as you can see here, right now we only have uh, one material, which is a concrete slab. So I want to add another material on top. I just uh, click on the insert and bring it up because this will be a uh, finishing. So I change it to finish and I go to the material, click at the three dots. Right, it will bring up this material browser. So I look for tile. Any tiles? Okay, down here we have ceramic tiles. Expand it a little bit. Ceramic tiles. Okay, I bring it up. Then only we can use it. Okay, and then I go to identity. Go to the identity tab. And you can see there is a keynote parameter here. Okay. And here you can um, input what is the, the specification. For example, this is a ceramic. I just simply go CR and click OK. Again, OK. Oh, sorry, I forgot the thickness. So this tile maybe 20 mm. Click OK. All right, now I have uh, input. The, I have modified this floor. And I've given it a material with a keynote parameter. Okay, so now I go to my annotate tab, keynote, material keynote. Okay, as I hover to my floor here, it will be able to bring out the material tag that I just set just now. Okay. I hope all of you can see my screen because uh, I think I just saw a pop-up just now. Okay, if anything, you can just type in the chat. If you can't hear me well or you can't see my screen. Okay, so all of this while, while you are creating those keynotes, you'll be able to generate a keynote schedule. Okay, so basically that is the main point of this. So you need to have a, a sheet. So I just go to my project browser, right click and do a new sheet. Okay, I need to select a title block. I'll just use an A3. Okay, and then I drag my view, my level one view onto my sheet here. Maybe I want to make it bigger, so I change the scale to 1 to 50. 1 to 50 is a bit big. Um, so I just make a custom 1 to 75. It's a bit odd, but just for this demonstration purpose. Okay. So I have placed my drawing on a sheet. And now I'm, I will go to view tab under legends. 
there will be a keynote legend. Okay, just click here. Okay, you can give it a name. You can just type anything. Uh, leave as it is. Okay, and there is two available parameters, and it, they already bring it in for you actually. Keynote value and keynote text. Just click OK. Right, so they will generate this keynote legend. So I have placed two keynotes. One is the material keynote, and another one is the element keynote. So you can also go back to your sheet and look at your project browser and the legends and it keynote legend just drag and place it on your drawing okay so as you go and build your keynote as you take more items it will automatically uh, update the keynote legend okay so like I said, um, we also able to uh, set the specification of this uh, key value in a external text file. Okay, uh, it's using a it's a, what do you call this external tab delimited text txt file. Okay, so you can create that because Usually in practice, the person that creates the specification is not the, um, the Revit author itself. Okay, it's not the drafter or the BIM model itself. You get this maybe from a supplier or your BIM manager does this, this specification. So they will do it at in an external file. Okay. And then you, as a as a B modeler or Revit user, you want to tag and you want to get those uh, data from that external file. So you can do that by using Excel. So I'm opening up my Excel here. Okay, let's say I have first uh, furniture. So let's start in furniture. And then the next one, I will do uh, finishes. Okay, you can follow the structure. <clears throat> and this one will be my first furniture. So I followed F. Capital F for furniture and then CCC for chair. This is number one. And then followed by the description. So this is a chair and um, dining. <coughs> Sorry. And then here I need to input the category. This furniture again, furniture. So I just copy this and I edit it to number two. And this one we have maybe an armchair. Okay. We have two finishes, and I'll do for the finishes. Let's say we have uh, just now we did finishes, maybe floor finishes, so FL dot it's a ceramic CAR in type one. Okay. This is totally depend on you how you want uh, your your tagging convention, right? This is just an example. And then another one will be a timber. 
Okay, timber floor. Okay, here you include the description. And then here is the finishes. Okay, I'll just do a few. Of course, this list can just continue on. Then I will save it and go to save as, I'll just save as and on my desktop. And it's important that you save as a text file and look for a tab delimited text. Okay, tab delimited dot txt. Okay, and then you can give it a name. Keynote text. Save it. Okay. So now you go back to your Revit and go to my level one. Now I want to apply those um, specification that I create on my Excel. So I go to annotate, keynote, keynote settings. Okay, this was a previous uh, keynote. Currently it says that couldn't find that uh, file. Just close. Okay, this is the, the original file that being used for this, uh, for this project. But I've deleted it and now we want to start new. So I need to go browse and look in our desktop and get the key text. Okay, we have a warning here. Say cannot open. I think maybe because I have the Excel file open, so you need to close this. Try again. To the desktop keynote. Yeah. So uh, it's a bit annoying. You you can't open the uh, Excel and the Revit concurrently. So you need to close the Excel, then only you can load. And click OK. So now I want to use the um, user keynote. And this user keynote, I want it to uh, get the information from the text file. So I do, I want to tag this chair. Okay. As you can see, it brings us to our text file just now, our keynote test text file. So it, we have our list here. Just exactly as we created it in our Excel just now. Okay, so now I'll be able to select this FCHA stroke two. Okay, okay. Yeah. Now I'll be able to um, tag the other chair. Okay. So as you can see, this the element keynote it it can read the keynote parameter within the element itself and for material it reads the keynote parameter in the material set in the material and this one is i do it depends on the the external text file okay so it depends on how you practice can choose whatever that is more suitable to you. And if you want to update your text file, so I just go to my desktop, try to open the, the file. It is, it's text file.
can see my text file here on my desktop. Where is it? I don't have it here. Sorry, where do I save it? Keynote settings. It's on my desktop. Next, uh, keynote. Yeah, this one. Okay, so I click on it, double click on it to open. So yeah, I created in, in Excel, but now I open up the text file. So it's, used, it's using this notepad. So let's say I'm, I want to add more to this. So I need to use tab. <clears throat> okay, so I need, I want a table, for example, f dot tab stroke one. And this one will press tab. This one will be a table dining. And tap again, the category furniture. Okay, so you can update more and more and more as you go. So I update one, I save it. And you need to close it. Go back to your Revit. Now you want to, want to bring the updated File. So you need to go to the keynote settings and just click reload. Okay, now it's reloaded successfully. Okay, and again, I use the user keynote for this table. Click here and it will should be able to bring up the table. See, and expand the furniture tab. You can see there's the new spec that I uh, load in. Okay, just select that and OK. Yeah. So all of this, but I add the tagging, it will reflect on my sheet, on my Keynote Legend. Okay, here we have the Keynote Legend. And if you look at the sheet, it brings the key value and also the keynote text here, right? So I hope that is a good introduction for you to keynote. And I hope it explains a little bit how this keynote can be used in your project. Okay. Um, do we have any questions? You can just type in uh, in the chat box, if you have any. Yeah, I think that will be all for Keynote. You'll be able, we have three, basically we have three uh, types of Keynotes and you're also able to either to uh, input the element in the parameter within the material itself or the element. And you also be able to create a specification list and bring it in to your Revit. Okay, while waiting for your questions, I want you to bring you to our website. So ecapsystems.com is our website. Okay. You'll be at the home page. You'll land at the home page. Here you can uh, check out our latest promotion and news on our products. Okay. You can check that out. And if you need any information, you can uh, chat with our live agents. Just click at the bottom right of your screen here. Right. Just click there and I select live chat, okay. Just type in anything if you want to inquire about our products or our trainings. Okay, here we have, as you scroll down, 
again, you have uh, here our free online lessons schedules. It shows the, the topics that we have coming up. So this one is for today. So this one will be tomorrow. If you're interested, you can just click on it and then click on the RSVP here, going. So basically it will send you an invitation or reminder for you to join the, the webinar. Okay, and then as you go scroll down again, you can also check out our training schedules. Okay. And of course, if you would like to know more about this, you just uh, head with our agent, just contact us. And lastly, down here, we have our Facebook and YouTube. So you can just click on the icon, see our YouTube. So it will bring us to our YouTube page, YouTube channel. Okay, here we have, uh, we will upload all our webinars here in our YouTube. So if you want to check out the previous topics that we have, and uh, ever since we have been creating quite an extensive library across a lot of softwares and topics. So you can check this out and maybe also give it a subscribe. Okay. Since we don't have any questions, I think that will be it for our free online les lesson session today. Thank you very much for joining me. And I hope to see you again in the next episodes. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you, CCW and also Dino Chiang. Thank you for joining me. Okay. Bye bye.